بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو المنیر ہائی اسکول ای لرننگ سسٹم اوکے سیون کلاس اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آف یور انگلش بک اینڈ یونو نمبر فورٹین اینڈ دا ٹاپک نیم از آ ہیپی اینڈنگ ہیپی مین خوشگوار اینڈنگ اختتام یعنی کہ ایک اچھا اختتام ایک ہیپی اینڈنگ So the topic name is the ambiguous. This is a person name. Okay. So we will read about that in this chapter. Let's start it. It was a day like all other days when Lala returned home from school in August 2010. Yani ye bhi waisa hi din tha ke Lala school se August ki 2010 thi aur Lala school se wapis ghar aayi. But little did she know that the year ahead would catapult about catapult her from an ordinary 11 years old to a brave little warrior. Catapult mean, yani Yunan mein tir ya kisi cheez ke phenkne ko ye kehte hain. To is tarah se, yani uske liye 11 saal pehle is din uske jo baba the wo bahir ke mulk. थे सून लैला बिकेम आ हाउस होल्ड नेम एज हर टीयर स्ट्रीट फेस स्टेयर बैक एट द व्यूअर्स फ्राम टेलीविजन स्क्रीन एंड हॉन्टेड द पाकिस्तानी नेशन थ्रू एवरी न्यूज़ पेपर और वो डेली अपने न्यूज़ पेपर में पढ़ती थी उनके न्यूज़ के बारे में क्योंकि उसके बाबा आउट ऑफ द कंट्री थे और उसकी आंखों में भी कई दफ़ा आंसू आ जाते थे टीयर स्ट्रीट यानी कि उसका चेहरा आंसुओं से भर जाता था और वो टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर भी पाकिस्तानी नेशंस के बारे में भी सबके बारे में ये रिव्यू करती रहती थी लैलस फादर कैप्टन वसी हसन वॉज इन कमांड ऑफ अ मर्चेंट वैसल यानी उसके जो फादर थे कैप्टन वसी हसन थे यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर सो वॉज इन कमांड ऑफ अ मर्चेंट वैसल यानी कि ताजरों का वक्त जहाज था द एम वी स्वीज ऑन द इंडियन ओशन یعنی ایم وی سوئیس بھی تھا ایم وی سوئیس اس جہاز کا نام تھا اور انڈین اوشن یعنی کہ وہ سمندر انڈیا کے سمندر میں تیرا تھا اور اس کے فادر وہاں پر کیپٹن تھے جو وسیع حسن تھے ہی ہیڈ پرومیسڈ ہر اینڈ ہر سبلنگس لوٹس آف گفٹس اپون ہز ریٹرن انہوں نے وعدہ کیا تھا پرومیسڈ کہ وہ بچوں کے لیے توحفے اور تحائف اور اس کے بہن بھائیوں کے لیے وہاں سے لے کر آئیں گے لیلا واز اویٹنگ ہر فادر سے ارائیول ان کراچی ود اے گروئنگ لانگنگ ناٹ بیکاز آف دا گٹس بٹ ڈیو ٹو دا امینس لو شی فیلٹ فار ہر سی فیئرنگ پیرنٹس وہ اپنے بابا کا بےتابی سے انتظار کر رہی تھی اس لیے نہیں کہ اس کو گفٹ چاہیے تھے بلکہ وہ اس کی امینس لو یعنی اس کا بہت زیادہ محبت تھی اس کا شدید پیار تھا اپنے بابا کے لیے سی فیئرنگ پیرنٹ یعنی جو سمندر کے سفر پر اس کے والدین گئے ہوئے تھے ان کے لیے ان سے ملنے کے لیے اپنی محبت کا اظہار کرنے کے لیے وہ بہت زیادہ بے چین تھی شی اینٹر دا ہاؤس ٹو فائنڈ ہر انکل سٹنگ ان دا لاؤنج ٹرائنگ ٹو کنسول ہز سسٹر ہو واز سوبنگ ان کنٹرولیبلی وہ کمرے میں داخل ہوئی اور اس کے انکل وہاں پر بیٹھے ہوئے تھے لاؤنج میں ٹی وی لاؤنج میں ٹرائی ٹو کنسول اور وہ تسلی دینے کی کوشش کر رہے تھے ہز سسٹر اس کی بہن کو جو کہ بہت زیادہ سوبنگ از ہچکیاں باندھ کر وہ رو رہی تھی ان کنٹرولی یعنی آؤٹ آف کنٹرول ہوئی تھی اتنا زیادہ اس کی بہن رو رہی تھی اور اس کی انکل اس کو چپ کروانے کی کوشش کر رہے تھے لیلا رین ٹو ہر مدر اینڈ فلنگ ہر آرمس اراؤنڈ ہر لیلا اپنی ماں کی طرف بھاگی اور اپنی باہوں میں ان کو لپیٹ لیا الام شی آس ہر مدر امی امی واٹ از رونگ کہ کیا ہوا ہے پلیز ٹیل می وائی یو آر کرائنگ کہ آپ کیوں رو رہی ہیں بفور ہر مدر کو ڈرپلائی اس سے پہلے کہ اس کی ماما جواب دیتی لیلاز انکل ایکسٹریکٹیڈ ہر جینٹلی فرام ہر مدرس ایمبریس اینڈ میڈ ہر سکس سٹ نیکسٹ ٹو ہم تو اس کے انکل نے اسی دوران اس کو نرمی سے پکڑا اور اس کو اپنے پاس بٹھا لیا بیٹا ہی سیٹ ہز وائس کویکنگ یعنی وہ اس کی ان کی آواز جس طرح سے ڈک کویک کرتی ہے اس طرح سے یعنی ہچکچا رہے تھے رک رک کے ان کی آواز اس کے کانوں تک آئی یو مدر گوٹ آ کال فرام یور فادر دس مارننگ یعنی تمہاری ماں کو تمہارے بابا کی ایک اس صبح کال آئی ہے بفور لیلا کڈ سے سم تھنگ اس سے پہلے کہ لیلا کچھ کہتی ہی مینشنڈ ہر نو ٹو انٹرپٹ 
लैला आई ग्रो बिग एस ही लिसन टू हर अंकल यानी उसकी आंखें और ज़्यादा खुल गई कि उसके अंकल क्या कह रहे हैं बाय द टाइम ही फिनिश्ड शी वॉज ट्रेम्बलिंग ऑल ओवर इससे पहले कि वो ख़त्म करते ट्रेम्बलिंग वो बुरी तरह से कांपने लगी कुड दिस बी ट्रू वॉज इन दिस द स्टाफ मूवीज वर मेड ऑफ क्या ये सच है ट्रू सच के इस तरह से तो वो मूवीज में दिखाते हैं वॉज शी स्लीपिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ नाइट मेयर क्या वो रात का एक ड्राउना खाब तो नहीं देख रही अ थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन वर स्वर्लिंग इन हर यंग माइंड एक हजार सवाल उसके माइंड में घूमने लगे उसके दिमाग में घूमने लगे स्वर्लिंग घूमने लगे शी डिड नॉट हैव टू वेट लॉन्ग फॉर हर आंसर यानी उन्होंने उसका जवाब का भी इंतजार नहीं किया अ नॉक ऑन द डोर वोक हर अप फ्रॉम हर स्ट्यूपर स्ट्यूपर कहते हैं बेहोशी को यानी दरवाजे पर एकदम से दस्तक हुई और जो उसकी बेहोशी थी वो या जो नीम बेहोश वो हो रही थी एकदम से जाग गई हर अंकल ओपन द डोर टू फाइंड उसके अंकल ने दरवाजा खोला कि वहां पर कौन है टू फाइंड माइक्रोफोन थ्रस्ट इन हिज फेस यानी एकदम से वो जो माइक्स थे जो जैसे वो न्यूज कास्टर्स के पास माइक्स होते हैं वो उनके फेस पर आ गए लैलस अंकल हैड नोटिफाइड द पुलिस एंड द न्यूज़ चैनल्स मस्ट हैव गोटन विंड ऑफ इट लैला के अंकल ने ये नोटिस किया यानी उनको पता चल गया कि पुलिस और न्यूज़ चैनल्स वालों को भी इस खबर का पता चल गया है अ रिपोर्टर नोटिस अ कन्फ्यूज लैला स्टैंडिंग बिहाइड अंकल अंकल यानी एक रिपोर्टर ने गौर किया कि एक कन्फ्यूज बची लैला जो कि उसके अंकल के पीछे खड़ी हुई है बैकनिंग हिज कैमरा मैन ही लेफ्ट टूवर्ड्स हर एंड आस हर हाउ शी वॉज फीलिंग बैकनी इट मीन्स कि वो जो कैमरा मैन था वो उसकी तरफ भड़ा और उसने भी सर हिलाया यानी आगे की तरफ झुका और लैला से पूछा कि वो किस तरह का महसूस कर रही है माई फादर हैज़ बिन कैप्चर्ड बाई पायरट्स पायरट्स कहते हैं यानी कि जो बहरी जहाज़ के कज़ाक होते हैं जो बहरी जहाज़ को अगवा कर लेते हैं दैट दोज आर कॉल्ड पायरट्स यानी पायरट्स ने मेरे बाबा को किडनेप कर लिया है रिप्लाई लैला चौकिंग बैक हर टीयर्स यानी अपने आंसू पूछते हुए पहुँचते हुए उसने ये कहा दे आर आस्किंग फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ मनी प्लीज़ ब्रिंग माई फादर होम आई है आई लव हिम एंड मिस हिम वेरी मच और वो ये रोने लगी कि वो बहुत ज़्यादा पैसा मांग रहे हैं मेरे बाबा को वापस ले आओ मैं उनसे बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार करती हूँ कैप्टन वर्सिस क्रू कंजिस्टेड ऑफ थ्री पाकिस्तानी सिक्स इंडियंस एलेवन इजिप्शंस एंड वन श्रीलंकन यानी जो वसी था जो उनके फादर थे उनका ग्रुप जो क्रू था उनका अमला था उसमें कौन कौन थे तीन पाकिस्तानी थे छः इंडियंस थे ग्यारह मिसर के लोग थे और एक श्रीलंकन था The pirates allowed very little communication between captives and their families unless it was a reminder for the payment of ransom money ransom mean bahut zyada rakam yani pirates ne bahut thoda sa unko communication yani rabte karne ka time diya captives yani jo qaid mein log the ki wo apni families ko bataye aur reminder de ke unko ye bahut zyada rakam chahiye one thing was their fam- one thing was obvious ek cheez zahir thi from the snippets of conservation between the ill fated crew and their families yani ki jo baat cheez un families ke darmiyan aur ill fated yani jo badkismat amla tha unke darmiyan wo zahir thi the pirates had kept their prisoners under harsh condition jo pirates the jo kazak the unhone qaidiyon ko bahut sakht mahol mein sakht halat mein rakha hua tha yani buri condition mein they were often starved and also endured extreme mental and physical discomfort starved yani unko kai dafa bhooka bhi rakha jata tha unko zehni aur jismani tashaddud bhi kiya jata tha mental zehni physical jismani okay this was a a uh, plo employed by the pirates to emotionally blackmail the families into paying the ransom yani wo jazbati taur par unko blackmail kar rahe the unke families ko ko ye bahut zyada jo rakam hai ye jo tawan hai ransom unko ada kiya jaye with the passage of time waqt guzarte ke sath sath the ransom amount grew from 500000 dollar to 1.1 million dollars yani itne 1.1 million tak unka jo tawan tha itne hazar dollar tak pahunch gaya tha the pirates threatened to increase this amount even further if the ransom demand was not met soon unhone ye kaha ki agar ye tawan ka mutalba pure time par na hua to wo is amount ko aur zyada badhate jayenge yani tawan ki qeemat mein aur zyada izafa karte jayenge 
this one an exorbitant amount a sum yani ye bahut badi rakam thi that could not be paid by the families of the unfortunate captives yani ye un badkismat qaidiyon ki families ke liye ada karna bahut mushkil tha if they all pool their resources but as they say when the going gets tough द टफ गेट गोइंग यानी आप जितना उस मुश्किल को आ, मुश्किल बनाते जाओगे वो और ज़्यादा मुश्किल होता जाएगा ओके लैला हसन इन वोक द नेशन विद हर फी टीयरफुल प्लीज टीयरफुल यानी आंसू भरे चेहरे से उसने लैला लैला हसन ने कौम को जगाया द मीडिया वेंट ऑल आउट टू सपोर्ट हर सारा मीडिया उसकी मदद के लिए इकट्ठा हो गया where the news channels gave her unlimited air time the newspapers ran front page stories of father's painful saga and the daughter's anxious pleas for his safe return yani sare news channels ne apna newspaper ke first page pe ye stories lagayi ki kis tarah ek baap ki takleef saga kehte hain daastan ko anguish pleas yani ki aziyat bhari daleel ya daastan jo wo suna rahe the sare news channel ne isko cover kiya aur apne front page pe lagaya The ordinary citizen of Pakistan responded immediately. यानी जो आम शहरी था उसने भी इसके लिए फ़ौर रिस्पॉन्स किया रद अमल जाहिर किया But unless someone in a powerful position took over, लेकिन इससे पहले कि कोई ताकतवर पोजिशन लेता द रेस्क्यू एफर्ट्स कुड नॉट बी स्ट्रीम लाइन Finally, the human rights activist, yani jo human rights the, jo NGOs thi, jo organisation thi, wo bhi active ho gayi. Ansar Bernie stepped in, yani unho ne kadam uthaya. He contacted the pirates and started negotiating with them to finalise the payment in exchange for the unfortunate crew. यानी उन्होंने उन पायलट से उन खजाक से रबता किया निगोशिएट ही यानी कि बातचीत की और फाइनल किया कि वो किस तरह से रकम इन कैदियों की इन बदकस्मत अमले की लेंगे मीन वाइल इसी दौरान द रैन सम अमाउंट रीच टू पॉइंट वन मिलियन डॉलर यानी अब पहले वन पॉइंट वन थी और अब उन्होंने तवान और ज़्यादा बढ़ा दिया और टू पॉइंट वन मिलियन डॉलर्स कर दिया द पायरट्स वर अगेन गोइंग टू रेज द प्राइस ऑफ फ्रीडम यानी जो पायरट्स थे वो उनकी आज़ादी की कीमत बढ़ा बढ़ते से और ज़्यादा बढ़ाते जा रहे थे बट अंसार बनी मैनेज टू टॉक दैम आउट ऑफ इट यानी अंसार बनी ने उनके साथ आगे बढ़कर बातचीत की द पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट बैक मिस्टर बनी ऑल द वे और पाकिस्तानी हुकूमत ने भी उसको सपोर्ट किया और उन्होंने उन पायरट्स के साथ बातचीत शुरू की The ordeal ended in June 2011. Ordeal, yani is azmaish ka mauka ya jo azmaish thi ye June 2011 mein khatam hui. First, the men taking the payment to the pirates were detained by Somali authorities. Detains mean rokna. Yani ke the men taking the payment to the pirates were detained. Pehle rok di gayi jo Somali ki authority thi usne kaha ki abhi payment rok do. Then once the sailor had regain their freedom after 10 months in captivity okay uske baad ek sailor ko ek mala ko unki qaid se 10 maah baad chhod diya gaya they were again attacked by pirates yani dobara se pirates ne hamla kiya the captain radioed the nearest lifeline the indian navy but the military ship failed to respond yani sare jo mulkon ke jinke wo captives the jo qaidi the unhone one by one koshishein shuru kar di the crew fought of the sea robbers themselves yani us amle ne khud se unke sath un robbers se jo samandri dakuo the kazakh the unse ladna shuru kar diya then the mv swiss started sinking ab kya hua us jahaz jo mv swiss jahaz tha wo doobna shuru ho gaya but in the meantime a pakistani nawal frigate reached jo ek pakistani mala tha jo unka bahri fauj ka tha nawal frigate wahan pahunch gaya and the sailors were hauled on board the pns babar yani unhone milke unko bacha liya once on board the babar the emigrated sailors were fed and given medical treatment unhe medical treatment diya gaya yani unhe tibbi sahulat di gayi the pirates attacked again only to be driven away by the pakistani nawal commandos yani unki unke sath fight hui jo commandos the nawal ke aur jo pirates the unhone bar bar un par hamla kiya the sailors remained reminded one of a cat with nine lives yani ye proverb hai mahavra ke kis tarah se sailors ko उन्होंने ये याद दहानी करवाई कि दे आर जस्ट लाइक अ कैट 
the crew of the mv swiss was welcomed with open arms yani unko welcome kiya gaya unko khush aamdeed kaha gaya with open arms yani whole heartedly khule dil se as they were transferred from pns babar to pns zulfikar yani unko un jahazon mein bitha diya gaya which then docked in karachi's harbor jo ke karachi ki bandargah par utre leila was waiting with bated breath yani wo ruke hue saans se ab intezar kar rahi thi both father and daughter clung to each other ek dusre ka saath chimat gaye and wept tears of joy aur khushi ke aansu nikalne lage okay this is the happy ending so there is another poem pirates prize So again this is all about pirates on the horizon a merchant ship in sight crew makes ready to board and fight captain conover shouts his command colors are hoisted with a steady hand ship swings around to the port side cannon tremble and shoot broadside their pre is crippled grapple hooks are thrown sound of death as metal hits bone with sword drawn the pirates board they swarm the ships like an angry horde the battle is over as fast it was begun bodies strewn on the deck rotting in the sun prisoners are stowed down in the hold their new ship is loaded with silver and gold the pirates make port at a secret cove they revel in the success of their new treasure trove They take their prisoners and sell them for slaves. Then on to find their next prize is treasure they gave. Okay, this is all about pirates. के pirates किस तरह से उनको पकड़ते हैं और फिर उनके लिए money मांगते हैं, ransom मांगते हैं, तवान मांगते हैं और किस तरह से उनको अपना slaves बनाते हैं. Okay, let's start the copy work quickly. Make sure you're just ready. We have to write down the words meaning first. So the first word is catapult, and the meaning is shoot forth or launch okay catapult is shoot forth or launch yani koi cheez phenkna steered steered is look at with fixed eyes yani ke ghoorna urdu meaning is ghoorna and the english meaning is looked at fixed eyes extract remove hata dena usually with some force to or effort yani koshish se hata dena बैकनिंग सिग्नल विद द हैंड्स और नॉड यानी कि सर हिलाना या इशारा करना एग्जॉर्बिटेंट ग्रेटली एक्सीडेंट बाउंड ऑफ रीजन और मॉडरेशन यानी बहुत ज्यादा कसरत से एग्जॉर्बिटेंट ग्रेटली एक्सीडिंग बाउंड ऑफ रीजन और मॉडरेशन निगोशिएटिंग बातचीत करना डिस्कस टर्म्स ऑफ एन अरेंजमेंट emaciated is very thin specially from disease bahut kamzor ho jana lagar ho jana harbor a sheltered port bandargah activist advocating or engage the activity yani jo activists hote hain jo ngos run karte hain aur jo chalate hain okay So we have completed our words meaning. Now here are the question answers. Quickly write down, write down the question from your book, and we have the answers on the screen. And open the page number ninety-one. And the question number one is: What news did Lala's mother receive over the phone? यानी उनको क्या news मिली थी? And the answer number one is: Lala's mother received a phone call from her husband. who told her that he has been kidnapped and the pirates were demanding a fairly large sum as ransom okay yani wo pirates ne agwa kar liya tha aur ek fairly sum yani ek bhari tawan mang rahe the and the uh, question number 2 is how did the media help lala yani media ne kis tarah se lala ki help ki and the answer number 2 is the media did their best to support her the newspapers ran front page stories and the news channels gave her unlimited air time 
to show how emotionally upset she was and wanted her father safe return the media helped in broadcasting her message for help okay this is the way that media helps her and the question number 3 on your book the page number is 91 and the question number 3 is why would it be correct to say that only pakistan played an important role in the rescue mission so put your answer with at least three examples from the text and why okay so let's start the answer number 3 is it will be correct to say that only pakistan played an important role in the rescue because only pakistan arranged all the money for the ransom ansar varni a pakistani negotiated the ransom amount and managed to bring it down and the pakistani government supported him all the way the sailors of mv suez were again attacked after freedom when the captain radioed the nearest lifeline the indian navy the military ship did not respond and the crew fought off the sea robbers themselves when mv swiss started sinking pakistan naval frigate reached it and the sailors boarded pns babar okay these are the three examples how the pakistan play his role okay the question number 4 from your book and the question is why does the author compare the seaman to a cat with nine lives yani wo kis tarah se usko compare kar raha hai cat ke sath sea lion nine lives okay the author compares the seaman to a cat with nine lives because cat can survive falls from high places yani wo jab unchi jagah se girti hai to wo bach sakti hai so was the case of the sailors on mv swiss who were repeatedly attacked yani un par bar bar attack kiya gaya and were kept in harsh condition but these weak and feeble men were finally freed as a cat can survive under harsh circumstances so did the sailors of mv swiss yani jis tarah se cat high jump karke bhi bach jati hai isi tarah se sailors ko itne bure halat mein bhi bacha liya gaya okay here is the also the copy work so the part c and the page number is again we have 91 so the question is find the words in the passage that can be replaced with the word unlucky and then use them in sentences of your own okay unlucky ke jo words paragraph mein book mein text mein use kiye gaye hain we have to find out and there are the three words unlucky ill fated and unfortunate teeno ka ek hi matlab hai okay students will make the sentences of this adverbs you have to make the sentences of your own so next is part d and look at the part d on the same page it provide three suitable adverbs to modify each verb do not use the same adverb twice okay we have to find out the adverbs for they have given you verbs verbs and action words unhone book mein aapko action word diye hain you just have to find out the adverb adverb that modify the verb jo verb ko aur zyada explain karta hai clear karke explain karta hai so these are the first word is in your book is akar okay akar mean vakya hona and the best suitable adverbs for akar is 
number one is frequently this is also copy work sometimes and today okay these are the three adverbs number two is lead lead mean rehnumai karna or the best adverb for that is bravely bravely lead onward leads and honorably leads okay next is number three number three is kill mercilessly kill cruelly kill and quickly kill okay these are the adverbs for kill number four is on your book is the word is function and that verbs are regularly placidly and softly right okay next is number five number five is function number four was uh, number four was flow and number five is function so five function is smoothly properly and calmly number six is differ greatly differ hardly differ and much differ number seven is on your book is decline and that verbs are downwards sparingly and wholly okay these are the best adverb for this verb that is decline next number eight is the word is in your book is study and the best adverbs are for that regularly study keenly study and interestingly study okay so the next is number nine is remember remember is constantly always and at times number ten is on your book is believe so believe is wholeheartedly ardently and suspiciously okay now we have completed our adverbs next the part b of page number ninety one and the part b is find the words in the passage that match the following okay you just have to find the words your passage mein unhone words use ki hain aapne wo batane hain ki wo kaun se words se jo words unhone aapko book mein diye hue hain on page number 91 okay you just have to identify so the first word in your book is in number 1 part b in anxious or excited anticipation and the meaning is in your book with bated breath okay rukti hui saans hichkichate hue with bated breath number 2 money demanded for releasing captives the worst word has been used in the book is ransom money ransom money is tawan bahut zyada rakam ka mutalba okay next is thrust somebody unexpectedly and suddenly into a particular situation and the best word is ordeal azmaish mushkil work number 4 an acute lack of mental uh, alertness brought on example by shook or lack of sleep okay and the best word is there for stupor stupor mean behoshi ki halat mein neem madhosh hona okay last one is worried and that is alarmed we have completed our part b now look at the part e insert columns and dashes in the following sentences you just have to add the columns and dashes columns mean the commas and the punctuation marks and the dashes all are we have to add so look at the number 1 you just have to add all the things you need here you will add colon two dots you can see these are called columns a saw comma a hammer comma and some nails here we will add dash okay this is called dash we are using these uh, punctuation marks to enhance the meanings or the difference between the words okay so nails dash are in the store room number 2 take the second turning on the left and then the first turning on the right so here we will again add the dash जब दो सेंटेंसेस को हमने डिफरेंस करना होता है उसको एक्सप्लेन करना होता है देन वी यू यूज द हाईफोन और द कॉलम्स एंड द कॉलम्स एंड द डैशेस एंड एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क्स एंड द फुल स्टॉप एंड द क्वेश्चन मार्क दीज आर ऑल पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स एंड वी हैव टू यूज इट टू डिस्क्राइब योर वर्ड्स इन मोर डिटेल सो द नंबर थ्री इज यू विल रिक्वायर द फॉलोइंग आइटम्स हेयर वी आर यूजिंग द कॉलन a knapsack comma sleeping bag comma and torchlight full stop okay 
Number four, a teacher likes to retreat this dash. The majority is not always right. Okay, these are two sentences. We will describe it with the use of hyphen or the dashes. Heredity and environment. Again, dash, both are believed to be responsible. Again, dash for a person's habit. Okay, so uh, we are adding the columns and the dashes and the commas in all these sentences to make it more clear. Okay, that's why we are using the all the thing. Next number for F. Look at the part F. Difference between the words. Okay, part F is in your book and the page number is 92. So quickly open the page number 92. Here is that. Difference between words. They have given you two words and you have to decide that which word is suitable in which sentence. Now look at the number one sentence on your book and the page number is 92. He was dashed to the challenge of assuming a dash position in a commercial firm. So he was, first you will add responsive. He was responsive to the challenge and of assuming a responsible position. Okay, first one, first dash you will fill with the responsive and second responsible. Number two, to supplement his meager dash, he works as a petition writer in the evening charging a small dash. So first one you will add salary to supplement his meager salary meager salary and the last one is small fee okay number three this dash drug has a dash market so this potent drug has a potential market potential mean journey just me mokfi tawanai ho just me chupi hui taakat ho potential market in the east number four the dash girl was the only one to believe his story which was hardly dash so the first one is credulous. Credulous means simple, sida sada. The credulous girl was the only one. And last is hardly credible, kable etabar. Credible is kable etabar. The men were given permission to dash the new country, but they were warned not to be, not to dash its rich natural resources. The first one is explore. Permission to explore the new country, the Riyadh Kanna, okay? Is explore the new country and last one is one note to exploit. Exploit, it's rich, yani exploit karna. Bada kaam ya bohat bada marka. Okay, exploit. Now we have completed our part F, okay? We have completed our also the complete chapter. Stay home, stay safe, take care and Allah Hafiz.